the first stage, that's correct. After she's finished with her waffles, Drew Barrymore gets into her vehicle and she drives along this road to leave the Hoopie Lao Cafe. This is where Adam <coughs> Sandler is interrupting her uh, transit. And he has a dozen different hijinks that he pulls. Everything is pulled out here. Uh, right around here is where Willie the Penguin's released onto the road, hoping that she'll see the penguin and stop her vehicle, but she's distracted and runs the penguin over. <laughs> You guys are too quick for me. On the right hand side, there's a picture of the gun and a picture of people operating the gun. It took six people and they could shoot four rounds per minute if they were a good team working together, so it was considered rapid firing. Left hand side, there's a blueprint of battery paper. We're going in for gun number one, we'll come out gun number two. And then of the entire airfield with all of the different bunkers and buildings laid out across the plateau, Battery Cooper off to the far right hand side. All these photographs are donated by the Bishop Museum down in Honolulu. Uh, they also donated for us all of these artifacts from World War II, but they didn't find these on the property, they were just uh, of the right era. However, we had on the property already these metal strips you're going to walk over. These are parts of the actual airstrip. It was completely made out of these modular segments that were all the same size and shape, and they could link together kind of like Lego bricks, and so they could build the entire 1.23 mile um, airstrip out of those metal segments, and if a piece was damaged for any reason, if a plane landed wrong, or if a bomb happened to land on it, then they could replace the pieces with the modular segments that they had in storage. It was really uh, convenient. Then we're already into Hollywood. This on the left hand side is the inside of the bunker we saw on the hill from Hawaii 5 -0. So they open the door there, they walk through the door, the magic television teleports them here, and it feels like they're in the same bunker still, but that's completely different in real life. It looks a little different today than it did in the TV episode, because somebody was sent up here to clean Battery Cooper, and they didn't realize that was a movie location. So they went in and they swept all the dust into one big pile, and they tried to clean away the cobwebs, most of which were made of rubber cement. So you can see some of the cobwebs dangling still there, all clustered up because they weren't meant to be uh, taken away. So you always have to be careful uh, whenever you're around stuff from Hollywood. It looks very realistic, but it's often uh, something very cheap that's not going to last uh, a lot of uh, abuse. So give a knock on the walls. The walls are concrete. The walls are really from World War II. But occasionally you'll run into things that look like they're made of stone, but in fact are styrofoam or very light. So be really careful before you test your weight, somebody broke out pieces of this um, monolith yeah. accidentally. We'll talk more about Kaka'apa when we're actually out there in the valley, but this is where we're headed to, this is what we have to look forward to. They built this diorama for wind toppers, which filmed back in 2001. Um, and they were going to use so many practical effects, it was going to be very dangerous. And so they built this so they could plan out where all the cameras would be ahead of time, so they could do it as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. But again, we'll see Ka'a the Valley here in just a few minutes when we get out there. On the wall, there's dozens of photographs and posters accompanying the different uh, films that were filmed out here along with a map of Kualoa to show where on the property the actual shots took place. We're about 4,000 acres all together, so one area looks a lot different than another, and depending on what they're looking for, they can film all over the property. The most famous movie ever filmed out here, though, the reason why a lot of people come out is Jurassic Park. Even though just one scene out of the entire movie, in fact, of the entire original trilogy was filmed here, We've also had larger animals to visit Kualoa Ranch than just dinosaurs on the left hand side. Remnants from Kong Skull Island, the sequel of which filmed over the summer, Godzilla vs. Kong, that comes out next March. Journey to the Mysterious Island with everyone's favorite, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> The largest visitor ever to Kula Ranch, though, has got to be Godzilla. The most recent Godzilla to visit us was in 2014, uh, when Hollywood went back to kind of the original formula for Godzilla, went back to the uh, 
the familiar size and shape of Godzilla after deviating from the formula back in 1998 for Matthew Broderick's uh, Godzilla. This was the one that was more like an iguana. Um, it didn't rely as much on his atomic breath that not everybody was as enthusiastic about, so they never made the sequels to that uh, particular Godzilla. But this one's getting sequels, the 2014 version, and uh, we'll see a lot of that in the coming years. Christmas 2017, this movie came out. Jumanji, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson again. These wooden planks are from the actual movie. This is part of the set, part of the transportation shed, where all the vehicles were stored and they had to decide which vehicle to escape Jumanji with. They actually built that on the property, and this is part of it. So Dwayne Johnson at least looked at these planks, but he may have actually touched them, just for your information. This archway comes from Jurassic World. This is where the gyrospheres would ro roll through the hamster wheel tour as the uh, actors were about to go off into Jurassic Valley. So this was in the back of the valley with the big pavilion. Everyone was queued up getting ready to go on the tour. Any fans of the TV series Lost? Anyone like Lost? Okay, this is for you. On the left hand side, this room is full to the brim with lost memorabilia, including the actual submarine that floated around our Malibu fish pond for all of season five. There's a computer terminal for typing in the number sequence, if you can remember that, and a display case with all kinds of artifacts, so you can walk right inside and get up close to it if you like. And then there's more as you get out towards the exit. And then it's still whale season, so whales could be out on the horizon. So let's grab a couple of photographs. These bones are left over from Kong Skull Island. They were filming out here uh, last summer for the sequel, Godzilla vs. Kong. But the bones are not meant to last very long. You'll see lots of dark patches uh, where we've been trying to take care of them over the years. 